previously on X-Men. Welcome to another Sith List Reaction episode. X-Men 97, episode 3 is on the list. I'm Mirage. That's Randy. That's Les. We're the Sith List. And we're here to watch episode 3 for the very first time. How you guys doing? Doing great. Doing a okay, man. Hey, listen, I uh, even texted Randy today how excited I was. I was literally really excited about tonight's episode. And again, if, if you didn't watch the last episode, uh, last two episodes with us, um, I'm not the, I don't have the greatest knowledge of X-Men. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I mm. love the storylines. I love the characters, but I don't know as much as these two guys. Um, and I don't, th by, by the way, by the comments last week, n none of us are saying <laughs> we're X-Men experts. Um, <laughs> Never said two, that. <laughs> no, but those two, those two know way more than I do. So it's been a pleasure just sitting here and listening to them um, geek out over this. And I'm absorbing like a sponge, but guys, Please, we'd love to have you uh, as a subscriber. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to be doing the X-Men for the rest of the season. We cannot wait to get into all that, and we'd love to have you with us. But uh, before we get into all the crazy stuff, what do you guys... I know you guys love the first two episodes. You love the tone. I did. What do you guys think about it now that you've had a couple days to let it resonate with you? Les, I'll go with you first, bud. I appreciate it, is what I'm going to say excited to see again like i said where they're gonna go it already looks like we're getting at the the last the end of the last episode uh we are definitely going to address some type of ad adaptation of inferno uh, also we're going to get life death uh, i'm not really fully particular on the, that part of storm's character's journey but i do know that it helps shape her into and lay the foundation for what she is now in the comics and in general it's going to be I don't. I have to see how they redo this thing because there was a certain character that was there in the books, if I'm not mistaken, who was responsible for her losing her powers. And okay. I don't know if they're going to have uh, this character appear in the in the series. So it'd be cool. Tr Forge is one of the coolest Marvel, coolest X Men out there. He's a, one of the coolest mutants out there. His Forge. powers, okay, probably. If there was ever a power, if people go, you know, what power would you rather have? I think his power would probably be the best one because anything he can think of or envision, he can build it. Oh, so man. that's just like a gist, a, you know. No, but like, like limitless. But technologically, oh, damn, like oh, okay. take Tony Stark and mutate that. Like take any My God. of okay. the geniuses How and if cool. he sees it or if he envisions it or if you tell him, hey, man, I want a time traveling laser beam particle just, dispenser just do it he'll go i'll be back i'll be right back and his name is apt you know forge it's just a cool name like well yeah i'm excited to radio what do you the, the only criticism that i've heard um out there in the crazy thing called the internet is that it seems like they're packing in multiple like storylines in 30 minutes there's like three different storylines that are getting wrapped all in in one episode um is that something that's taking away from the show for you at all is that something that you've noticed no i don't i, I think they're just story threads are starting out because i don't think they plan to uh finish every story at the same time i think they're building like the threading for a bunch of storylines to happen at the same time so you right. don't feel like you're just sitting there spending all this time with one character, one set of characters going linear, linear through yeah. one storyline. I like how they do, they're doing yeah, this. Yeah, I do I too. They're weaving it all in. And yeah. if they wanted to do it the other way, it would have been 55 episodes or something. But, oh, we can only be so lucky. I know, right, exactly. But here we go. Episode 3 of X-Men 97. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh I yeah, made flesh. Oh yeah, now we gotta see what the heck's going on. Oh, this is so weird, man. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Mind is dense, vague and uncertain memories, as if her awareness was born only yesterday. Escape, desperate, alone. Finally, wait a minute. What? They're reversing it. No uh, way. Home. Yeah, they're going back. Yeah. What oh, was that? oh no, no, wow. no, 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 okay. Fine, Scott. But who she is or where she came from remains a mystery. Well, this isn't going to get confusing or anything. Let's call this mystery gal in the bed, Jean Doe. All in favor? Spiral! 
Every moment is a new and shocking valuation of all we have ever been. My friends, words will fail to prepare you, but the gene that lies on this couch would appear to be the actual Jean Grey. Oh. What do you mean, the actual Jean Grey? I have memories. Her mind, it's just fragments. Your science could have been manipulated by someone with wicked intentions. Scott, tell them. Oh, Scott. Oh, Scott. Scott. Dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Beast, confirm your test. Enough tests. Oh. I am Jean Grey, member of the X-Men, one of the first. I fought by your side in countless battles, given my life how many times? You know me. <laughs> looks at the chalk. <laughs> looks at the board. We just yeah, I don't know. Have to be yeah, take sure. the kid. Yeah. Oh man. Storm would have believed me. Scott, Scott's like, I believe in science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, could they just not find okay. a proper spot in the infirmary to put her instead of just on a couch? Not now. I know. No one is saying that. Just. Just saying, you gotta go. Professor and Storm gone, and Magneto here. It's been a lot for everyone. I don't know what to believe right now. Just <laughs> go. Scott's dropping the ball, man. <laughs> this is a classic. When we had Scott is, move here. I was about to say. Leave. Oh, 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 are you? Hello. Who's there? Once I've resolved matters with our superfluous genes, I'll be able to make the final modifications to send you <laughs> back to your time. Genes. Bishop, stars you and garters. You had to yep. of Magneto taking over the X-Men. Oh, into my stars and garters. Oh, there nice. it is. <laughs> What's wrong? Scientists like artists have signatures to their work. I know who created <gasps> the gene. Oh. And so dark and twisted he can oh, be described no. as nothing other than... Sinister. Oh, okay. Mr. Sinister. But you can call oh. me Father. You! You and your son are meant for so much more. Let me show you. Never. You I bet you this is the first X-Men villain in the movies. Running your science experiments you think so? You use Absolutely. Degree. Yeah. Only I can usher you and your son to your royal destiny. You'll come nowhere near my son. Oh, this is below average. Time to wake up my queen. <gasps> of course, is quite oh. useless. My influence over your mind is flawless. Oh, man. <laughs> no. They did it, Randy. They did it. Randy. Totally, they're totally Randy. doing the gob. Yes. yes. Only your dark desire. They shall know my inferno. But guess what, ah, man? Well, I mean, maybe Gambit should have played less rock with you in the danger room, next pa. But the cards, they wild. Huh. Rematch then? Well, let's look at the schedule and see who's up next. Hmm. Looks like Magneto and Rogue have oh, a danger oh, room oh. next. Oh. oh. And all tomorrow, too. Oh. Wow. Rogue, yeah, like really this is like the B plot right now. New boss. It don't say that. Stay on patrol. Gambit. He's going to get jealous, that's for sure. <laughs> Go easy on him, a jerk, he man. just sent his hush puppies up into his stomach. <laughs> Hit the shower. I'm going to go see about a redhead. Well, He said sent his hush puppies uh, up into his stomach. And dude. then there was more. <laughs> one too many redheads for you. Here, need some help with those hard-to-reach spaces. Always with the jokes, eh, Morph? Oh, no. As if I don't know. What's going on there? Mr. Sinister. If we all don't know. Oh, what is going on there? Or Goblin Queens. Yeah, it's gotta be Goblin Queen. Is that? That's wild. Liar. Most of No, this can't be good. This can't be good, no. This can't be good. No. No. I agree. This can't be good. Merits, wow. my boy. Failed to God. sire a child with the proper wife. Failed to lead the team. Flung. Failed. Nothing. Nothing. You abandoned me. Sing shard. Oh, shard. Oh, wow. Shard. When is your time? But Sinister started all this. Is that how it works? He triggered. Like, he, he, he triggered all of this. Yeah. He created her. And... 
like the like horror slides uh, like the yeah. going on right the whole now. Possessed. Ah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now, what the Ooh. heck is going on? Haven't you figured it out? We're in hell. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, this is the, the, the clothes. Roberto, look out! <laughs> Fastball special. Damn. A reverse. Yeah. Reverse. You yeah. Smell like burned hair. <laughs> chill out. Chill out. Yeah. <laughs> Just chill. chill out. Time for an exorcism, punks. You know you're still in your house, right? I uh, yeah. I was about to say they're destroying the mansion. <laughs> oh. That's, that's the real gene. gene. Yeah, yes. that's gene. So we're supposed to believe. Allegedly. Yeah. Think again. Pathetic. What does he even see in you? you? Don't have to do this. Who doesn't? Me? Who am I? Say my name, Scott. Oh. No? Allow me. Ooh. I am beyond Jean Grey, beyond the X-Men. I am scorn and fury, forged in righteous brimstone. I am the Goblin Queen. This was... No! Baby Nathan. Hey, man, I got no problems with Goblin Queen. Mm, yeah. X-Blinky. Now, who went and hired a stampede of buffalo to do a home makeover? Remy. These two. I'm sorry, Remy. Should have been here. He was a scientist in the 1800s. Then he started cutting up mutants, stealing our DNA to enhance himself, prolong his life. He can even take away their will. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. She must not remember how to entirely control her powers. The sheer magnitude of her psychic abilities are overwhelming her. I will lead the others in a surgical strike. Fine. Lead the way. This is where you can use Storm, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. At last, the spawn of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. That's awful. What, are you going to dump him in there? No, 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 no. He's going to really do something crappy if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, it's hot, bro. Unlimited. Your powers untold. But first. You must be made invulnerable. What? A new breed of perfect that creations. Does not look like a back to tank. Night by my no, will no. And genius. <laughs> Get that disease. He's about to hit him with the techno virus. Mm hmm. Fan out. Remember, Gene is Sinister's victim, too. She's under his control. Better listen. I know not what I do. <laughs> I know her, her, you follow, Scott. It's her costume's more like the Black Queen, that? right? From Dark yeah. Phoenix? Sinister. In Hellfire Club? Yep. Very much. <laughs> Magic! Do not want to That's fight awesome. you, comrade. I don't want to fight <laughs> you either. I like how Morph is doing that. I want Being to all the cameos. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to get everybody in there, you know? Yeah. This is one way you can. Yes, my queen. I am power! Oh, no. <laughs> That's Dark Child, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. They are going off. I applaud your magnetism. This feels like an homage to the Castlevania anime. But my telekinetic charm extends it's, beyond It does look like that a little bit, right? Yeah. All the gothic. Yeah. Oh, Magnus. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Look at you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's draw some blood, baby. I'm sorry. I didn't want it. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's all about it. Mm. You'll bleed too. 
Oh, she's oh. percent. Oh, Calm down, Logan. I, I remember you. Keep going deeper. More. We just got like a love octagon going on. Bro, that novella level is no, phenomenal in this. Scott, yeah. He's no, in it's a known fact. Scott, he's like, X Men are, not going X -Men are the horniest superhero place. team in the world. Please, please. <laughs> My body won't be an issue. You! An astral projection. Yeah. yeah. Oh, astral plane? Of course. I was Phoenix. Me! Oh. Is that all you can remember? Oh, so they are going that route. Okay. Oh. Hello there. Do you know who I am, Jean? Mom and Dad called you to help fix me. They say I think too much. Don't worry. All I do is think too. Can you tell me who I am? Can you say which of these memories are yours and which are mine? Oh, it's such you? a cool storyline, man. I think, I think so. so. We yeah. are what we remember. Yeah. Kind of and summarizing it. Nothing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You are nothing! It's a trip. He's a living reminder of the purest love two people can share. And no one can ever, ever take that away from you. This is the greatest moment of my life. Oh, look at that. You stay away from our son! Fools! You have doomed the boy! Damn, Astro. Your house is on fire, and your child all gone. Oh, God. Nathan. Oh, no. No, there it is. You monster! What have you done? It's a techno-organic virus strain. Oh, no. Sinister was likely exposing Nathan to it in the hopes of making him invincible. Figure it out, Beast. Please. Sinister's variant is too advanced. It could take months, even years, to develop a cure. Oh. And the virus is already spreading rapidly. There's Smart. Can do anything. Ah. Uh, Only got there you go. Nathan and I. Is that more? Or is that um? That's Forge. Forge. They were Man. talking about. No, there has to be another way. I won't be like my father. I won't abandon my son. Well, it looks like you got to go to the future, Slim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's what we promised. Don't any of you know how it feels to be abandoned? It won't <laughs> whoa, whoa, take it easy, Scott. He won't feel abandoned. I promise. I can't be a part of this. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is typical. Classic typical Scott. Classic Scott. The walking off lamenting. Yep. Sun's gonna be a be electrovirus when kid and just here. walks out you ask yourself why we did this don't scott and Jean get like uh mentally projected into the future to raise him i don't know about that maybe in the uh adventures of slim and red or whatever wait oh. Oh, okay it's not fair we don't know when sinister switched us who really was the phoenix which of us married Scott? All we have now it's crazy. is the future. An unknowable future built on an unknowable past. My next life will be mine. Take care. 
Jean. Call me Madeline Pryor. <laughs> Farewell, Madeline. There you go. Farewell, Jean. Call me Richard Pryor. <laughs> what? No, we can't do that. No. <laughs> Nice name. Nice. There you go. The 80s costume, man. Shame about the weather. Speak plainly. Who are you? Name is Forge, Storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Old friend of Charles Xavier. I'd like to help you get back what you've lost. Well, there you have it. Episode three. We're done. It's in the books. Yeah. I thought it was freaking awesome, man. I thought the uh, storyline was super cool. I love the animation. It was a little bit, I don't know, it was weird. Like, I think you said it, Randy. It was the kind of like a tribute to the Transylvania anime. The uh, anime Castlevania. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> Castlevania. But the, I thought the entire animation was a little bit different throughout the entire thing compared to the last two. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. But what did you guys think? Hey, Randy, I'll start with you. Oh, I thought it was a cool episode. I, it's a very abridged kind of version of the storyline, but it hits like all the big beats that change around a few things, but it's still like it, it still has that soap opera tone that I'm hoping that continues. And I think they're very cognizant of that and they, they're intentionally like, okay, we know what we need to do. Yeah, yeah they're I, kind of pressing that button constantly on that little love yeah, triangle. There's like and, so many like inner yeah. team relationships that are happening. And, fantastic so far yeah how about you Les? man i i couldn't stop smiling this was just so good <laughs> it, it it very good and yes i'll back up randy on that they completely were able to just adapt they went for it they adapted so much and laid so much down also uh if if look if people are upset or you know thinking that there's too much going on this episode pretty much displayed how to pull it off they laid so many different, even in that, it, it, like the first interaction with Sinister and everybody's going through like the, their mental fears or whatever. And you get mm. the Gambit Rogue yeah, Magneto that, thing. That was get, cool. You know, you, you start you get getting the all back these, to morph. Yes. Yeah, mor morph the, 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 OG. Yeah. So you're yeah, like, OG dang, morph. you know, uh, then they even paid a little tribute uh, slash homage by, uh, you know, switching up the costume, making it look more like um, the Black Queen from the Hellfire Club. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and making her look like that, which triggered the Dark Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken. Right, uh, exactly. It's it, They did it all, and they brought Forge. So yep. Yeah, then you were calling that in, or before we started. That's super cool. So, so Forge is going to be helping the baby in the future. Forge is going to be helping the situation here in the present is what we got. I don't Correct? know about that. Yeah, you I don't know, know about that. I don't, so the, I don't ba the, baby's that. Not, the baby in the future is not going to be helped by Forge. I no. Don't think oh, okay. So, no. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Okay. It, it'll more than gotcha. it, there. There's, yeah, that I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, nor okay. Uh, but Forge is here now. Forge is going to, which I wonder if it. Maybe I'll just have to watch the episode. I'm obviously just gonna have to watch the episodes. I was very excited, very happy with this episode. That's one thing I will say that I. I'm just happy the whole time I'm watching these. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like it's no like I'm not waiting for like a twist or anything. I'm just enjoying the episode. Yeah, and for me, who who doesn't know the arcs like the way you guys do and and what the storyline's going, I'm enjoying it just because it's it's been really interesting. Like this storyline was really interesting, and so um, I'm getting I'm like a, like a sponge right now. I'm like hell yeah, this is really rad. It's and it's making me feel like I'm learning about the X Men as we go. Um, they're giving you is, like the big they're, beats. They're, yeah. they're giving the big beats. So like, yeah, so this I'm I really appreciate that. So you're doing a great job, guys. You're doing a great job, guys. Uh, I think that wraps up this episode. Oh, well, well, oh, go ahead, bud. Were you gonna say something, Randy? Oh no, I was saying that you were oh, gonna okay. say something. I, uh, I noticed that <laughs> they were using cameo. Char the characters were like adjacent to the story too. To right. each of those plots so the characters uh, that morph was morphing into yes okay so iliana rasputin uh mm -hmm. that kind of stuff it was really cool to see that and again yeah really happy right now does the queen the, the goblin queen ever go up against scarlet witch in any storyline ever honestly the goblin queen story is kind of like her 
probably as far as I can remember, the most like important storyline she's ever in. She just kind of just like goes off and does her thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't All think. Right. Can you think of another time less where Madeline Pryor comes back and it's significant? No, it's pretty much she does her thing in Inferno, the storyline. Yeah. And then after it's all over, it's just like lates. Lates. Yeah. She wants late. to live her life. Finally has, but a it's a really start. cool thing because they, the way it's set up in the book and in the way they're inferring in here is that the whole time she was actually the dark Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Jean gray was like in a coma basically. Right. The whole time right. in Sinister's yeah, lab. Right. Yeah. Some mm. instead of the suspended animation thing, uh, yeah, yeah, again, just really happy, very cool, very cool. Very fun. Well, guys, we'll we'll wrap it up right there and we'll be here for next week. And we're going to be doing all kinds of other things in pop culture, obviously. Uh, Star Wars, Marvel, HBO, Game of House of Dragons coming out in mm-hmm. June, mm-hmm. Acolytes coming out in June. And we're going to be enjoying this thing for a while. So this is uh, it's great that you tuned in. And thank you again for tuning in. For Les and Randy, right next to us, we're the Sith List. We'll catch you right here next week for episode number four, X-Men 97.